I've got to change this black water valve is leaking. I did my best. I tried to caulk it. Every job is much easier with the right tools. Easy work just kind of makes it weird because it's kind of poop. So usually it'd just be one, two, three, four bolts. Take that off, slide the new one in and you're good. But my flange on both sides is broke. So this flange is gonna need to come off. The front flange is gonna have to be replaced. I'm just gonna have to buy this whole unit right here. All right, so now I am just removing the four nuts and bolts. One, two, and then there's three four on the back side and I ordered that piece which will be here in a second and uh, it's just basically both of these so um, I was originally gonna cut the PVC but if you look here you can see I got two like 45s there's nowhere to really cut and since my back the uh, flange is broke on this side, but it's good on that side. And on the top, is it broke? Okay, the two tops, so it's really only broke right down there at the corner. I'm gonna get a, a washer first and just disconnect from here and in the back and then just slide the new one in. So that's off now on the ground. Gonna remove this kind of O-ring on both sides. All right guys, so I got the new parts in. I ordered these right on Amazon. I think they were both, each one was under $40. I was sure which one I needed, so I just ordered both to be safe. But it already comes assembled. So you have the uh, valves already installed and you just have to basically piece it in so what I'm gonna be doing since I'm gonna use my old or try to use my old flange is just take this part off and pull that off and slide this right onto the existing one and same with this side so this is what one looks like and the other one basically has a uh, just an angle on it, like this. So it's got me an 11 socket, an 11 wrench for this, the bigger, the bigger guy. We're gonna save this gasket, because this gasket is what's gonna seal against the existing flange that's on there. Do the same thing. The little side, the little side, I'm using the an eight mil and a uh, let's see three eighths. Okay. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna save that gasket. I already know what someone's gonna say about me not wearing gloves. Uh, off a little bit. Look right here. And see that part doesn't quite line up. Okay, plan two. I'm gonna try to do the side one first disconnect the back one or the three inch and I might have a little bit more play 
So we'll put the small guy on first. And I'd assume you'd want to keep your gaskets as clean as possible. Okay, so I got the side or the smaller valve hooked up and I figured I'd have more play with the bigger one lining up, but there is kind of a, a weird angle, but I'll just try to force it up there. I mean, if I break it, I'll just have to put a different one on there. There's a little bit of an angle there. Yeah. Well, we just got back. I hope big, man. That's all we ate when we was out camping. It's looking good, guys. I think it's going on there. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to, when I'm tightening these, I'm going to just go around kind of like you do a tire just so it doesn't pull down. You know, you want the the thing to seal. Right, so there we go. It should uh, should be good to go now. I guess there's only one way to test it out. As you can see back here, I just added that washer. Otherwise, like I said, I would have had to cut this. And on this little 245s, there's like nowhere to cut. If I were to cut here or here, it's just it's just a bad scenario. So that's why I use the washer right there. And I will hold on to my two extra flanges.